Hi, Craig. How Great to see you. You too. Well, I'm glad you could make it to the American Muscle Car Museum here in Melbourne, Florida. Um, you're walking into the front showroom. So we have about 18,000 square feet here. All types of beautiful items here for memorabilia. Uh, we have old gas pumps, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, RC Crown coolers, uh, neon signs, pedal cars, balloon tire bikes. Everything you see here is 100% original. Okay, Craig, if you like the front showroom, I think you're going to love the main showroom itself. You could have two football games going on at the same time in this building. Just a stunning facility. you got three acres of land. The walls are solid concrete tied in with steel every eight feet and steel rebar running through every concrete block. So very, very well built building. Been told it's the best built building in Revive County, less a couple buildings at the Kennedy Space Center. As you go through, you can see a lot of beautiful cars here. You're going to see some ultra low mileage original vehicles, and every vehicle here is kept in 100% running condition. The facility itself here, we maintain the temperature at 74 degrees inside, and we maintain 35% relative humidity. Just some really good environmental controls to protect the quality of the vehicle. And as you walk through, you're gonna find all different vehicles here. Uh, this is mostly a Shelby row and then Mopaz. And I tell people we have about, oh, 40% General Motors here, 30% Ford Mercury Shelby, 10% Mopaz, 10% Porsche, and about 5% other. Some of the others are oddballs. It is mind blowing walking through here. Well, the museum is incredible, but now we're back in the shop. And this is where all the cars are carefully cared for. But I think what is really incredible is the attention to detail that is put into the authenticity, the paperwork, building the books for every car, the high-res photographs that have been taken for the collectors out there the quality of the cars here, the presentation, the environment that they're in with no humidity, everything is air conditioned. It is really gonna take great care of these cars over the long term of your ownership. Because as we talk, we are only caretakers of these cars and you are a fabulous caretaker as well as gathering up all the history on these cars, Mark. Well, thank you, Craig. Um, here at the American Muscle Car Museum, one thing that we pride ourselves is in the quality of the vehicles that we have. Today in the collection, we have 385 vehicles. Um, it's hard to believe, but we have 160 vehicles with less than 100 original miles. So one of the first vehicles I'd like to tell you about is the 1958 Chevrolet Impala Convertible. Um, Rio Red, Really beautiful car, frame off restored. And the thing that I love about this most is the beautiful tritone interior. Uh, just really stunning color combination, uh, loaded with factory options, uh, has the autotronic eye, has the traffic signal uh, indicator, factory spotlight, and even has factory air conditioning. Next vehicle over here, uh, 1959 Ford Retractable. Uh, this is an AACA national show winner. Um, 1959 Ford made retractables in 57, 58, and 59. Uh, stunning frame off restored vehicle. This has the correct you know, original Indian turquoise color with ivory. Uh, just a really stunning vehicle. Uh, we had a car just like this as a kid growing up. Oh. We used to actually have a mom and a dad and five kids squeezed in that car. No seat belts, but we all had a great time. Packed you together, yeah. kept you in the car. Yeah, my mom had a lead foot. She drove like you wouldn't believe. Uh, talking about lead feet, <clears throat> we're moving up to the next vehicle. 1991, we have actually four Dale Earnhardt vehicles here at the auction that we're going to be uh, selling off. This is a race truck that was actually been recreated. Uh, multiple show winner. It's 
won actually over best of show over 30 different times. Wow. So stunning uh, restoration, quote, customization, uh, just a very beautiful looking vehicle. Um, as we move ahead, <clears throat> we got a 1969 Mercury Cyclone spoiler. The beauty of the Mercury Cyclone, like I always said, the 428 power plant. I know the 428, the Ford, um, when that motor came out, I loved it as a, as a kid, still love it today. Um, you could really get some great quarter mile times on that motor. Moving ahead, we got another 1969. This is a 1969 Chevelle in Daytona yellow, uh, black interior, black top, uh, beautiful top down car to enjoy. It has a 396, 375 horse. Of course, these two cars were competitors back on the street in 1969. Right next over, we have a, another unique vehicle, 1966 Plymouth Satellite. Um, we used to call these the grandma cars, but this is not a grandma car with a 318 in it. This has the real 426 Hemi. Uh, the 426 Hemis were definitely something to record with on the streets. Next car over, 1968 Corvette. Um, 427, 400 horse, automatic. Uh, beautiful red with red interior, has actually the factory hard top. Um, this is another vehicle I've owned for a lot of years. Um, this vehicle I've owned since 1994. Then as you, you look here, we have actually three more Dale Earnhardt vehicles. We have a Dale Earnhardt Camaro, Dale Earnhardt Monte Carlo, and the 2010 uh, one of one Hall of Fame vehicle. Um, this vehicle here right now is in the shop, like all of them. We want to make sure we go through our nine-page checklist to address any deficiencies. And since we have a, a 15,000 square foot maintenance facility here that's, you know, air-conditioned and dehumidified, uh, we have all the modern equipment for exhaust and, you know, you know whatever you need for uh, compressors or whatever you need, etc. Uh, beautiful shop to work in, and so we take care of all of our own maintenance as much as we can here. Now we come to the Dale Earnhardt couple more vehicles. <clears throat> we have a Dale Earnhardt Camaro, one of six. We actually have a photograph of Dale actually signing this vehicle, as well as the Dale Earnhardt Monte Carlo. So Monte Carlo has less than 1,000 original miles, and the Camaro here has a little over 5,000 original. Next vehicle coming up, 1986 Corvette Pace Car. When the Pace Car came out, I said, I have to get a Pace Car. So I'm actually the second owner on this vehicle. I bought it way back in 1994. Uh, when I bought it, it had about 2,000 original miles. Today it has 9,000 original miles. The pride of what we're bringing to auction here, this is a 1968 Yanko Camaro. Stunning color combination. Grotto blue with the blue vinyl interior. Uh, this is a Jerry McNeish documented vehicle. Uh, has the McNeese certification, magazine feature car, been featured in several books, uh, known history, and we have every piece of original factory paperwork from when this car was purchased brand new in Cannonsburg, PA. The American Muscle Car Museum starts at 1955. I actually have two 1955 Bel Air convertibles, and this vehicle is in gypsy red. Uh, Heavy factory option vehicle, has 35 factory options. Uh, it's a uh, frame off restored, 1.8 miles. It's only gone on and off the trailer since I've owned the vehicle. And as I show my vehicles through the years, I try to pride myself in all the little details. So in other words, like you'll see that we have, you know, a reproduction of the original operating power top. A factory manual, a factory service manual. Go ahead, open up the hood here. And the beauty of this car is it's frame off restored, tremendous detail. The gentleman who has restored my 55 to 57 Chevys uh, prides himself in every vehicle he restores. I love the way you take care of the cars, the way you document them, the way that they're showcased out in the main museum. <laughs> then they come back here. So every car come to the auction is gonna go through this entire process here, give you a sense of that the car has been well cared for, it is well documented, and it is presented in the proper way of what the car actually is. What we try to do is get every piece of factory documentation from day one, if at all possible. 
Uh, if it's a newer vehicle, of course, you'll have the window stickers, the build sheets, bill of sale documentation. Every vehicle that we're going to bring to the auction, as well as every other vehicle we have at the American Muscle Car Museum, we have a flash drive with anywhere from 100 to 200 high resolution photos of every part of that vehicle. And quality is what you are bringing, and that's why I personally wanted to come here and showcase your cars and your paperwork. Now, when it comes to documentation, and, and every car at the auction is going to have a, a book similar to this. So, what we're going to have here is this is on the 1955 Bel Air. And there'll be one of these books with each car at the auction. And when you open it up, you're basically going to find a, a basic fact sheet on the vehicle. And then we're going to have a, a series of about 20 to 24 photos, which are actual real photographic 4x6s, on each vehicle. Just tremendous documentation. The Yanko here has some unbelievable documentation. If you please share that. You'll be amazed at what you see. So we basically will go ahead and have a highlight sheet of the vehicle. And we'll go through and we'll have the color copy of the current title, bill of sale history, and, and the beauty of this vehicle behind us, it's also a multiple magazine feature car. It's been featured in the Copo book. So this has a, a tremendous amount of history. It's been celebrity owned. The original documentation that you find is, is priceless today. It absolutely is. You're welcome is. to look at it. It's, it's amazing. Well, this is incredible. Yeah. The, the attention to detail that you have, the way you have archived everything and protected everything, just speaks to the quality of the car and what we want to represent when somebody out there wants to buy a grade A collector car. It doesn't get any better than this Yanko. Yeah, beautiful car. It's really a beautiful car. And a car. beautiful color, too. The grotto blue is really striking. I think Barrett Jackson will be very pleased with the vehicles that we'll be sending there. and. I know I've been extremely pleased with, with all the vehicles, and I put my name behind every vehicle, so. Well, that's what counts, yeah. and uh, I commend you on the work and what the facility is that you built. Just going in the, the main museum is awe-inspiring, but coming into your shop, the attention to detail on physically taking care of the cars, all the paperwork, all the digital photographs, all those will be on our website, so please check them out. This is your opportunity. You want to buy a great car selling at no reserve, our Palm Beach auction, 2022, April 7th through 9th. Get some great cars coming out of the American Muscle Car Museum. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you, Craig. Thank it's you going to be much. awesome. Thank great you. opportunity. See you there.